All right, it's Wednesday, January 13, and the windows are done. So what we did, <clears throat> I guess I could have showed you, but it's too late now, is I uh, put a screw under in here and here from the top. I pre-drilled with a, like a 9 64ths or something drill bit. I happen to have some really long ones that are like a foot long. So I could get get up in there really well without the drill motor hitting this or that, I guess I should say, because this wasn't in here at the time. And then uh, I pulled it out and I drilled it with a three sixteenths hole from the bottom side so that the alignment would be right with the hole that was in this. Uh, mostly right, more right, easier to get right on the money. I don't know how to say that. And then I came with the 3 16 bit on this side and let the countersinks work on that. And uh, it went very easy. Um, and the little trick with the sticks here, instead of using clamps or anything, uh, you just stick them in there. You make them about an eighth inch bigger. The closer to perfect fit they are, the tighter it'll press. And uh, they could have been a little bit shorter by about a sixteenth and it would have been squeezing a little bit harder but it's doing what it needs to do and we use where'd it go right here i had a little bit left over of this heavy duty ultimate gorilla construction adhesive um this stuff is super super thick and that was the uh the first one that we did with, was this and on this side I put a skinny bead all the way down and it was kind of hard to work with because it needed a lot of pressure to squeeze the glue and we had some squeeze out that we had to clean. For the rest of them, about every inch and a quarter, I put a little blob on the edge of the, the wall uh, and the, it stuck up maybe like an eighth of an inch, sixteenth to an eighth, so that gave me um, plenty of height to make up for any kind of gap that there might be in the in the natural sway of things here but it wasn't so dense that I couldn't squeeze it out and I focused uh, locating the bead a little bit further on the inside so we did not get any squeeze out we didn't have to clean not one of them just this one was the only one we had to clean so we got all those in there um, tomorrow that will be fully cured Oh, and we also used that little piece of wire trick. It's about a 16th of an inch thick wire that we put to leave a space. So we're gonna come back in here with some black caulk and put a little tiny bead all the way around. So that'll make the window sill waterproof for any sweat that might occur on this window or if we leave a window open and, we, and it rains in here or anything. Um, so the, you got to use mineral spirits to clean up with the Gorilla Construction adhesive. Um, I, when I got done with using that tube of Gorilla Construction adhesive, which uh, it comes with an orange tip. This is the regular heavy duty Gorilla Construction adhesive. It comes with a white tip. Um, I just put the orange one on here because it happened to be already cleared out. Uh, this stuff is a little bit thinner and a little bit easier to work with. Depends on what you're doing with it, right? So when this is all done and said, we're going to, like I said, we're going to put a black caulking along the inside. And we're going to take white caulking and go around the outside to fill in that little tiny gap that's there. And we'll probably be doing that around the whole bus. Uh, I did notice we have a couple of these up here that are with a pretty large gap. I think that's the biggest one right there. That's about an eighth of an inch. That's pretty big too. These don't matter because they're looking shit in the way. So that'll, that'll give it a nice finish. We're gonna have to be careful that when we do put the caulking, we don't get it around in this corner, the white mm -hmm. that we put in here, or it's gonna show. So we'll have to be real conservative when we come around there. The bottom sides look like, oh yeah, they're pretty tight. tight. I think it's, that could use a little bit. So yeah, these two here are the only two that we added the clamps. 
because uh, it needed it. But uh, it really, really looks great with the finished white paint and all that wood trim is matching.